Thanks for joining me for another controller mod. This one's gonna be fun. This is for a gamer that uh, presented me with a very unique problem and the solution looks deceptively simple. You've already seen it and it looks just insanely simple, but it's much more complicated than it looks. At least it was for me because I'm not an engineer by education. Let me explain the problem first. So we have a controller here. This gamer is, um, I don't know if he's fully quadriplegic, doesn't matter. He games using a rod off of his forehead um, that goes down to the controller and he's got a setup so he can move the joystick around and he can push the trigger. I did that for him already. Um, it's not perfect, it's, it's workable, um, but it's the best we can do for right now. But he presented me with a problem this time and he said what he needs is to be able to hold down the A button, but not permanently. He needs to be able to toggle it basically. Um, and so again, my goal is to be able to do these mods that are not damaging to the controllers so that somebody else can install them or if they need to replace their controller, they don't need to ship the controller to me for custom electronics. So I turned to 3D printing for the solution. I, it took me like a week or two really racking my brain to come up with an idea and then the result, I think, well, I'm really proud of it. Let's look at it. Here's the design in Fusion 360. Um, again, it looks simple, but check this out. So this central point here, this central section is lined up perfectly with the pivot point. Let me get a better angle on this. So if you push on the top here, the rubber band attached to it will actually pull it backwards, or if you push it forward, it'll pull it forwards because it's like perfectly centrally aligned. It's like a cam, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and that, can apply enough force downward to hold the button. And then this part I love, I actually designed this to be print in place. So you can see here, it prints on this side here, and that is the inside of the, uh, the joint. So it prints this whole joint at once, and it comes off of the printer, ready to use. Um, let me see if I can get a, uh, uh, like a cutaway view I forget what it's called. Section analysis? Um, oh, here it is. All right, let me show you a cutaway view real quick. So here you can see the joint itself and how it's sectioned. If you imagine that the right side is down on the printer bed, then um, you can see all the angles going away from it, which would be upwards or to the left, are 45 degrees. So there's nothing that needs support. No supports needed at all. I added a really big gap here uh, for printers that maybe aren't as um, well tuned, you know, uh, so that it won't bind up on your printer if you don't have a perfect printer. This should print on most, even if they're pretty sloppy. You might have some problems with the very first layer fusing, but you know, a little trial and error will get you past that. All right, let me show you how to install this. All you need is a little bit of glue and some rubber bands. Uh, you can see some hot glue here from when I installed one previously. I'm just going to use hot glue. You just set it down so it can do the button you want. Unfortunately, this design uh, really can only do the bottom two buttons. Otherwise, it's like in the way and there's nowhere to put the rubber bands. So I'm going to do the A button here. So let's see, I want it there. A little bit of hot glue. It doesn't take much for this mod because really it's just going to keep it from sliding around. The rubber band does most of the work. So we let that hot glue cool and then we wrap the rubber band around hooking it on this, on the uh, central fulcrum here. Once it's cool enough, you take your rubber band, hook it on. It's not totally cooled down. I'm kind of rushing it and then wrap it around. And then, sometimes you have to use multiple rubber bands, like two rubber bands to get enough force to really push the button down. 
but this one's working. So there it is. I mean, it looks so simple, but it works. It does the job. It prints in one piece, so you don't have to assemble anything or worry about it falling apart. It doesn't damage the controller. A little bit of glue holds it in place. You can actually snap it off of there if you have to, which you can tell I already have done a few times uh, when I was making different prototypes. It does the job. I'm so happy about this one. If you need this one, um, there's going to be a link to it down in the description below. Uh, and as usual, you know, I do these mods for people for free um, as long as I can, as long as I can afford it. I do these for free. The person getting the, uh, the gamer getting these mods doesn't have to pay for them. You can support me through my Patreon if you want to help um, financially to assist people in getting the modifications they need. Or if you're a gamer, uh, feel free to reach out, especially if you need one of these. Now that I've designed it, I can send them to you uh, pretty quick and easy. All right, thanks so much for watching these videos. Give me a thumbs up, that helps me as well. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.